I have done a lot of funeral services in my time as a minister. The one thing that I've learned during those times of doing those services is what people say about the deceased. Often, they will talk about the kindness that they received, and it might have been 50 years ago, but they still remember it in their mind and in their heart. The kindness that you do for another person, it can last a lifetime. Mother Teresa said that kind words can be short and easy to speak, but their echoes are truly endless. Colossians 3 verse 12 says, As those who have been chosen by God, holy and beloved, put on a heart of compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Well, the instructions of Colossians 3.12 are complete. They are absolutely full. We are to be compassionate. We're to be humble and gentle and kind. To be compassionate on those that we know, on our children, and also compassionate on those that are different from us. We have to be humble. We have to be teachable. We have to realize we don't know it all. And we certainly never know it all about another person's life. We have to be gentle because of that and kind because of all that. But sometimes... When the pressures of daily life weigh heavy on us, on our shoulders, and when this happens, we fall short. Amid the busyness, amid the confusion of everyday responsibilities, we may neglect to take the extra moment that it takes to be kind or to do a kind deed. This oversight hurts others, yes, but perhaps it hurts us most of all. I ask you to slow down just enough. I often say in my relationship seminar that it takes seven seconds, seven seconds extra, to, to take the time to be kind, to say a kind word, to touch another person. And when you do, it can make all the difference in that person's day, maybe, maybe their life. So slow down enough to be alert to those who need you, that need your comforting words, a helping hand, or even a heartfelt hug. May kindness be the hallmark of your life in your dealings with others. They will be blessed, you will be blessed, and God will be honored.